Why are we here? What are we doing? How will we manage ourselves in this crazy life of ours? What is our purpose? The answers are there, but not easy to find. Hi, I'm Hilary Lindsay, active yoga at your home, office, and soon the third annual Bhagavad Gita convention at San Jose State University in California. These questions are asked and answered in a text that was written 5,000 years ago and is still relevant today. The Bhagavad Gita is a call to action set forth on a battlefield in India. It is a 700 verse conversation between a pacifist prince and his mentor. The mentor Krishna explains the concepts of karma and duty to young Prince Arjuna. He teaches him how to play the hand he is dealt. Arjuna is depressed at the prospect of shedding his cousin's blood. Depression is prevalent today. Often we feel powerless. Our relationships are challenged. Our relationships to our family, our friends, our jobs, to our earth, our food. We are constantly assaulted with information that confuses us. Life is a battlefield, and even a bloodless battle can be devastating. But there's no retreat, because life continues only if opposing forces come together. This is nature. This is our nature. What are the resounding words of today? I'm fighting for. I'm on a journey. I'm in it to win it. I'm on my path. And if defeated, I feel good that I did my best. This is a field of feelings ready to be cultivated with seeds from the Gita. You may know me as a yoga teacher whose instruction focuses on relationships both inside and outside the body. Muscle to bone, bone to bone, bone to breath, breath to skin, and person to person. The integrity of the whole depends on all and each part, each person. I came to this moment through struggle. I was a reclusive, recalcitrant child. I resisted my life in an affluent suburb of New York City. I saw no purpose in it. I was lost in books, in other people's stories. I fought the norms demanded on me of every path my parents and teachers chose for me, but I did take that path. I went to college. I studied journalism and political science. Interested in other people's stories, I would find a career reluctantly. An older friend introduced me to yoga in college. He recognized my youth and confusion and insisted I read a book called The Master Game, which I later realized embraced the teachings of Dharma and Karma laid out first in the Bhagavad Gita. Yoga has become so popular now that even yoga is confusing. I can tell you that a small percent of yoga is physical yoga. Yoga is an organized method for living a full life. The Bhagavad Gita is the seminal work of yoga for the people. Curious? Please join us. Register at globalgita.org and join us on the 19th and 20th of October. I look forward to seeing you.